Greetings all from Jefferson State Air Rifles. Looking at a new batch of twin spring systems here for the Marauders. Nice anodizing. We've got a outer and inner spring. These are going to be stiffer than the factory springs or the stock springs and yet they're, they're also shorter so that we can tune it without the constant pressure on the back of the hammer and therefore the valve and avoid that double bounce and wasting air. Potentially grab some more power if that's what you're after or uh, increase the efficiency and tighten up that extreme spread and standard deviation. These guys have a uh, nylock in between the set screw and the adjuster screw so they have a smooth stable adjustment and set there. In order to hopefully answer a few questions about installing these, uh, it's always safer to drain the reservoir. However, it is possible to install these while the system is under pressure, mainly because the valve is held into place by three main screws. And these screws aren't holding, but the, the bolt heads are holding. So you don't want to take those out. So as long as we avoid those three screws it's okay to pull these three screws that hold the end cap so this would be the top there'd be four screws holding down the breech and so we can leave these front two and pull these back and then flip it over and pull the back one screw from through the trigger housing in order to slide the factory uh, plug out which is going to have a much smaller hole. These are nice because we won't have to disassemble all this again and potentially maladjust our scope or something like that because I can just back this adjuster screw out and I could wiggle and pull these springs out and either drop one, add a stronger one, depending on what you're after there, or it's even possible to control the spring even more and have a spring stopping guide so that can really control the flight of the hammer and then that could just be threaded in. So you don't need to have this part, the, the spring stopping guide, for the twin spring systems but in order to install the spring stopping guide you will need an end cap that has been modified whether you drill and tap that out yourself or get one of these or contact me if you don't want the twin spring system and we can figure out just the end cap so I hope that answers majority of the the questions there and uh, hope you enjoy these and stay free out there.